Hello, everybody. Hi, can everybody hear me? Hi. Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Oh, good evening, everyone. Happy early Thanksgiving to you all. We hope you are, you've had a wonderful day and a wonderful start of your week. Um, we haven't had um, a recipe exchange as, as royal ladies in a long time. And as we know, this year has been quite interesting. So with all the restrictions, most of the time when we mention Thanksgiving, it evokes um, images of football sessions, um, family re reunions, turkey, pumpkin, you, you name it. But this year it's going to be a little bit different. So with, ev with, with that anticipation, we know that in our small home, um, families, we are going to still try to brighten our tables and we decided as, as, as women to just have this, this special event and to add to our knowledge what we already know. And we are very privileged to have joining with us uh, our sister Leone from Leone's Catering Service and our sister Anita from Gifted Hands to be here with us to share their valuable knowledge and um, experience and knowledge with us so that we as women when we get into the kitchen on thursday will not find ourselves scratching our heads to try to add new things to our dinner tables and so without um, wasting much time we have a lot a lot a lot of things to cover today i just want you to take a seat we are not going to be in the kitchen tonight we are just going to have our papers our listening ears our participation um, efforts with us and um, our, our notepads with us as well as anything that you can add there'll be as the program is going on we are on zoom there will be a, a comment session that you can post your comments on if you have any questions at any point in time you can feel free to post any questions stop us it's going to be an interactive session as much as possible Obviously, the, um, our greatest chefs are going to be having the, 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 the space and the floor uh, for the most part. But don't hesitate if you have any questions or, or, or anything to any suggestions to add. So let's sit back and have fun. A lot of fun was promised and you will not be disappointed. Without wasting much time, let's bow down our heads and, and share a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for protecting us as women. We thank you so much for protecting us, uh, our lives and, our, and the lives of our family members. We thank you that from January to November, Father, you have kept us. You have kept us and have kept us safe. And we are here together as a family to learn from each other and to, to, to just have fun. We ask that your Holy Spirit will come and dwell within us. We'll, we'll, we ask that your Holy Spirit will come and take center stage, that at the end of it all, we will say that of, of a sure fact that we indeed had fun and that you were with us. We thank you so very much, so, so very much for how far you have brought us. Thanksgiving is a time where, Father, we share our thanks unto you for the many, many, many things that you have done for us in hope of the greater things that you're about to do for us. We thank you. So for Father, for this reason, we just wanna thank you. We just wanna bless you. We cannot thank you enough. Take absolute control over the next few hours for, with this time of fellowship together. Take absolute control that at the end of it all, we'll have cause to give you thanks, praise and adoration. In Jesus' mighty name have I prayed, amen. Amen. So without wasting, um, I'm very, very excited. I don't know about you. Um, as, as, royal, um, as, a, as a family, Royal House Victory Center, we are so blessed to have so many chefs with us. 
but we could not start a program like this without getting Auntie Lee from Leonie's catering to be with us. This woman can cook up a storm, can feed the whole world. If, 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 you, if you gave her one night, she will produce food enough to feed the whole America. And I trust that tonight, our time with her will not be wasted. So, Leonie, please take over. And in a, in, in a few um, minutes, once she's done, we'll turn it over to our sister, Anita. Hi, good evening, everyone. I hope you all learned something from me tonight. First, I'm gonna start off with um, how to do a turkey. Um, first and foremost, when you get your turkey, you know you're gonna take it out of the um, paper. You're gonna make sure you wash it with vinegar and lime, and little bit of salt water, not a lot, like a like half teaspoon. The reason why I say that because sometimes you're not gonna cook it at the same day. Sometimes you season it up and you leave it for like three days or two days or a day before. So the salt will help to cure the meat and give it a little flavor. So you clean it out, clean it. See, you're not gonna cut it. So you clean everything out. You make sure you, you take off all the feathers, everything. And this, I already wash it in, um, in the salt water, vinegar and lime. And then you're gonna add your season. You season like, um, I use like all purpose chicken season. You have your um, globe. You have your bay leaf, you have your um, garlic powder, you have onion powder, um, you have your um, a little bit of black pepper and salt. So what I do, I mix up all the powder ingredients in one. And I'm going to just sprinkle it, sprinkle it all over. All over, you're gonna sprinkle it, rub it in, sprinkle it like here. You don't make the skin, don't break the skin. So, you're gonna make sure you put the seasoning as much as inside, rub it in, push your finger, don't forget to touch it. And um, inside, you put the seasoning also. I'm going to just throw down some in there. Are you going to season all, season it, season it well done. Um, if you want the, um, I'm not going to, tie the feet some people take a string and tie the tie here but i'm not going to do that because the end of the day i'm going to use the stuffing and the stuffing most time um what they do for me what i like because i don't like the pure bread where they use and make stuffing i use like potato i use like um potato and i cut it Cut it in dice and dice them. I cook rice and I mix it. So I mix it with the rice and the potato. Then I use the Italian, Italian um, bread, um, um, bread comes and I put it in and I mix it like, see, mix it. Then I put some seasoning, season of your choice, what you like, and you season it. Then, this is the trick now. You're gonna take it, and you're gonna make sure you stuff it. Put it way up in the chicken.
Okay. So when you do that, you can leave it, make it go and rest in the meantime. So when it go and rest, I'm gonna give you a little trick now. So like this, you have your potato, so you're gonna dice. You have your celery stick. You're gonna um, pair it like this. And you're gonna cut it. So if you have, oh, for instance, you have this, I'm just using this as an example. You're gonna put your celery at the base. You're gonna use a carrot. And the onion also, you're gonna cut it and dice it also. And you're gonna mix it and dice the potato. And you're gonna put it, this is the base of your pan, you're gonna put, put it in the base of your pan. The reason why I do this, because these three components together give you a nice flavor. And then you're gonna take the chicken and you're gonna rest it on top of it. After you do that, then you put it in the oven. And it takes between three to four hours to bake. Three to four hours. So you leave it in there. It's not hard. <laughs> so until I, 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 I have a question for you. Yeah. So you're saying that the stuffing that you just put in there, you, you made it yourself, right? Yes, I do. It's homemade stuffing yes okay and then take it a little slowly for us because i don't know if it's just me but um i think you are, you are saying that you mix potatoes and cooked rice and 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 you you add some seasoning right yes to it and then you mix it and then you stuff it in the in the turkey is that right yes okay so if you didn't get the details, don't worry too, too much. We will have um, a summary of the recipes out at the end of the program. So um, you can keep it going. Okay, so um, let me remove that my gloves. And I'm gonna show you the finished product. And this is your finished product when you finish. This is how your turkey is gonna look. And you can serve it with cranberry sauce or you can make a nice gravy for it. Wow. And if you notice here, you see that little red thing. If you don't know like, um three to four minutes if you can judge it by that when the turkey if you have the turkey this will pop up that is also a signal to show you that the turkey is finished or if you have a thermometer you can stick it in don't when you are using the thermometer don't stick it here you stick it to the the, the bigger part the thicker part and it gives you the temperature and you will what, know what the temperature is supposed to be. The temperature is between like 165. Between 165 and what? No, just 165. Around there. Yeah. That's what the temperature is supposed to be. I, I haven't I have never baked turkey before. So I don't know if I'm the only one, but I, I'm I'm learning because this this thursday this thanksgiving i'm going to be baking my first thanksgiving turkey how many of you are going to try it out am i the only one 
I'm okay. trying it out. I'm, I'm trying it out. Me. I'm I'm trying to check you out. <laughs> that looks so I'm good. I want so some. Like you can use a large, uh, a big chicken, a roasted chicken. You can use a roasted chicken if you don't like turkey, and and you get the same result. So I learned that um, sometimes with the turkey you have to inject some 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 seasoning and things like that into it and um because turkey is so hard to season so are you saying that with the little rub that you did in the beginning it's going to saute it and 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 then it's going to be all juicy and spicy yes. inside yes you can oh, have to you can pour all in it, but you have to be careful because you don't want to tear up the skin outside. So you pour the all inside. And I have an next trick. Um, when you season up your turkey, like two or three days, you have a plastic bag. You can put it in the plastic bag and you can put like two cups of orange juice and tie it and make it marinate for that two days. That also help um, give it flavor and also make it juicy. So, so can you can you can you also fork it like fork the um, the turkey? Yes. Okay. Before you add the seasoning, right? Yes. Okay. What 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 other ways? What other ways can you season it? Assuming somebody doesn't like the um, the powdered pepper, I personally don't use powdered um, seasoning. So what other ways can I get my seasoning inside into the turkey? How can I get my seasoning into the turkey? Or do I always have to one one has to always use um, powdered spices? No. As I said too, that's why I give you um the 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 carrot, celery, onion, scallion, thyme. You can use that. How and do you use it? Do you blend it? Are you, are we supposed to blend it, or you just um? No, I don't blend it. I just chop it and, oh, and chop. put it in and stuff it in it also. You can stuff it inside. With the stuffing? Yes. Okay. Okay, so now I, I don't have a big scare anymore. I don't know about you. I'm, 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 I'm ready to try this thing out. Mm. It will do good. It will come out nice and juicy. And and the next thing, um, a, a next little trick until after, like when you bake it, like when you do it and you put it on the pan, for me to make mine juicy, you can use a plastic first and cover it. And then you use the file and put on it and you make it stay like for an hour or two hours. And then you take it off and then it um, come out beautiful. It catch the color like that. So also you get it tender and every gets steam and it gets soft and nice. Wait a minute. Wait a do minute. you put the plastic on when you are baking or you put the plastic around it before you bake it? Before, before when I'm going to put it in the oven, I put the plastic over it. Then I put the file, cover the pan and everything, cover it. And then I put it in the oven and I so leave it. With the plastic? Yes, oh. and I leave it for two hours. Then I go and I remove the plastic and I remove the file and leave it. And then it finished cooked. Okay. Okay. So okay. ladies, do you have any, anybody I, have any question? Yes, can I, I have a question. Um, um, Sister Leone, can you tell me where do you purchase those plastic that you can use to, um, Put the turkey in the oven. Um, is there... I just use a simple plastic. I, I just use regular clean wrap. 
I just use the same for plastics. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I have a question or comment. I know some supermarkets, they do sell turkey bags. So you can buy the actual turkey bags and place it in it, but follow the instruction on the turkey bag so that it doesn't, um, you know, swell up or pop in the oven. So they have turkey bags at Stop and Shop, at the dollar store, or at, you know, your local supermarket. Wow, turkey bag. I've never heard of that before. I have another question. Are you supposed to put the turkey at the lowest rack in your oven or put it right in the middle, placing the rack so the turkey can get it fit in? What I do, I put it to the lowest. You see, I put it to the lowest and then I lift this. So it don't touch, it just set in the middle. So you put it right there. Thank you. And then I know that you said that um, you can use the same recipe and steps if you don't like chicken, I mean, turkey and you're doing it for chicken. And I know that chicken is normally smaller than turkey. So when you're, if you were to do, to bake chicken, a whole chicken, how much time would that take? Would, would it be half the time or the same um, amount of time? No, no, no. It would be so much. That would be take, um, the baked chicken would take like maybe one hour and 15 minutes, depends on the size. Okay. This but no more than two hours, right? Repeat. So it will be no more than two hours for, for a whole chicken. Yes. And two hours for a chicken, that would be too dry. Okay. Um, excuse me, Sister Leone, someone had a question. They said, do they have to add oil to um, the turkey when cooking it? No. Is it no. because it brings its own water or is it own oil or what's the it reason? Bring, it, it, it send out, because when it's baking it, it take out all the fat and everything, so it make its own oil, it, it take everything. So you don't have to add no oil to it. Thank you. So, and, and then um, somebody chimed in that turkey normally comes in, um, you know, it, it comes in a different weight. So um, do they normally have instructions as to how much time you need to bake it per the weight of the turkey? No, for, for I know, as long as I know, I know all turkey take the same time because they so hard. So. Okay. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. No. Okay. Any more questions? Are we all good to go? This this Thanksgiving, I'll be driving around. It's COVID, but when you when you hear my car honking at your door, please leave me a little um, turkey. I'll be coming around to taste all your turkey, and the winner will get a prize. <laughs> a turkey cook off. <laughs> yes. I, I know where you all live. So are we all good with the turkey? Our recipe for turkey is all set. Any questions? We see that the turkey looks very pretty on your table. Like what do you use to like prepare or to make it look so delectable? I just, as I said, I, I just use the different seasoning. I, Soak it because I, I have this like from three days and I um, season it up, um, put it in the bag, orange juice. We're talking about the preparation. We see grapes and all those things. Oh. You just do, this is like a garnish. So, you know, depends on how you want it to look. Right, the presentation, pretty. Thank you. That's how you should dress it up. And any more tips about how to present it? Because on this Thanksgiving, we are going to be taking pictures of our tables. And whoever has the nicest presentation on their table will also get a, a prize. So could you give us more tips as to how to present a turkey? Besides the grapes, I see, I, I think I see sweet peppers on there. And I see um, you have, um, slices of apple and lemon and strawberry strawberry you have 
peppers. Mm -hmm. And you know, you can put whatever you have cherries, and you can use you also can use grapefruit, and you can um you can grill the grapefruit, you can cut it in slices and grill it if you want. You can also do vegetables if you don't want fruits you can use vegetables you can grill it you can roast pepper you can do different stuff different um things so thank you very much i think um you are going to throw in um a few some other side dishes as well Yes, the next thing, like the next thing, famous thing when um, most people if, really if, sorry, if you if you don't have any questions, ladies, we are gonna move on to the side dishes um by Leone. Um if you happen to think about any questions as we go, even regarding um the turkey, we can come back to it later. But for now we'll move on to the to our side dishes. Okay, my favorite. My favorite is the candy yam. But I do mine from scratch, everything from scratch, because I ate the can. I ate can, candy yam in can. I ate it with a passion. So I buy um, the sweet potato, and I, um, I cut it in four, cut it up, and then um, put on the water, boiling water, you put it in, you cook it for like 15 minutes. You take it out. Um, I always cook it in the skin and then I remove the skin. The reason why, because sometimes you might get busy doing something and forgot. And if it overcooked, then it start to break. But if it's in the skin, it keep it together. So that's the main thing. But um you can peel it off if you don't want that or when you cook it you can remove the skin when you remove the skin then you place it into a, a dish a deep dish like i'm just giving you a, a little example and then i show you the finished product um Auntie Lee, somebody is asking, how long do we boil the, um, the, the yam? As I said, 15 minutes, because this yam is, you cannot cook it too long because there is two way. When I, because I say 15 minutes, because after, when I cook it, I'm, and then I have to, then when I put the ingredients, I put it in the oven again to bake. So then it will be perfect. It will not mushy and um, breaking apart. So like this is the mold and you put, you put um, when you cook it, you put the um, thing there. And my ingredients, I have, I use brown sugar. I use butter, brown sugar. You, you can melt it. You do melt it. Um, Cinnamon, pineapple, marshmallow, dark sugar, orange juice. You, you use like a cup or two cup of orange juice, but I would say maybe use, depends on how much. You can use like one cup. If it's five pound, like five pound of potato you're gonna do, you can use like a cup. And then you have the honey. And you pour this on it. Don't forget. And you you put everything on, you put the um the sugar, brown sugar over it like you sprinkle the brown sugar, then um, you use the melted butter and you pour it over on it. Then you use the chunky pineapple. Don't use the crushed pineapple. 
use the chunky pineapple. If you feel lazy and you don't want to buy the whole um, pineapple to peel, you can buy the canned one, but buy the chunky one, not the um, crushed one. And you're going to put it all over it. And then you see, um, then you shake your um, cinnamon. And then this is the magic touch, the marshmallow. You make sure you put it all, cover it all over. And then you put it in the oven for 15 minutes. And this is what you get. Whoa, at what temperature? Hmm? At what temperature? The oven. 350 for 15 minutes. 350? 350 for 15 minutes. Okay. Now backtrack for the turkey. What, what's the temperature that we keep it at? 365? 165. 165. Okay. So for the candid okay. yam. Um, Mama, excuse me, is that the temperature of, of the turkey itself or what the oven should be? Is that, what should the temperature of the oven be? I thought be? that was the, oven, the, the temperature no, of the, the turkey. No, the oven is three, the oven, I keep my oven at 350. All the time? Yes, I keep my oven at 350. Okay. Because you don't want it burning, you want it come out perfect, so don't, don't, or it took you to pump up the heat. The, 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 no. Keep it at 350. And Lee, I have a question. I, I, I'm trying to wait for you to finish, but this question just keeps coming. I, 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 I want to know, for some of us who are trying to cut back on sugar and trying to cut back on some calories, what are some substitutes that we can use? Yeah, I'm looking yeah. at this yam and I, I want to eat it, but then I'm like, Ah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's the, the trick. So when it come on and Thanksgiving and Christmas, there is no time, no, 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 all of that go through the door. But anyhow, if you don't want to use no sugar, just use fair um honey then. So you are telling me in the next two days, dieting is out the door. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Somebody says you splendor. I think I'm gonna go with that too. That <laughs> <laughs> is more sweeter. The splendor. Okay, the next oh, side is on Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, the next um, the next side dish I'm going to introduce you to is collard greens. Collard greens um, we have kalalu. I think we call kalalu. It since I came here, I know about color greens but i love it and color greens mm. the color greens what i do i use um i always a trick when i go i search because some of them is tough and if you don't know it bitter so you see like you just break it. You have some you when it's too old, you can't do that. So you can test test it. So the easily breakable um leaves. Yes. Are the, are, the, are, the, are the good ones. That's how you test for it. I've yes. never bought yeah. um, colored greens before, so I'm learning from scratch how to go to the store and pick the right ones. And you are saying that if it's not easily breakable, then leave it there. Don't buy it. Yeah, it's gonna take. You know, it's gonna give you a problem. And when time you cook it, sometimes no matter how you cook it, it um, it tastes old. Like it's not fresh. It don't. It don't taste good. No matter what you season or what you 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 put. So I always try as the best to look for the um young. Yeah. So for the colored greens, I like cut it up. And you have to cut the ends off, right? 
I wash it in um, cold water and salt. Salt water, I put it in it, in the water, and I wash it. Wash it in cold water. And, and I put a little bit of salt to wash it up. But I'm and, seeing that you cut off the, 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 the head. Should I call it the head? Yeah, the, the head of um, the leaf. Did you cut it off? You yes. don't cook that part. Okay. No, I don't cook that part. And okay. I, 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 I cut my um, I cut mine real fine. Some people just chop it real big and ugly. I don't like that. So I cut mine real fine. This reminds me in Ghana that when we had the um the spinach, that's how we chop the spinach in Ghana. So for the Ghanaians, for the um Jamaicans among us, I think it's um it it's it's like kalalu. Yeah. 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 And I the, for the Americans, I think if, if you are used to cutting colored um greens, then it's the same way. I I'm learning every single dish that you've cooked. I've never done it before. I'm going to challenge myself and I'm going to let you know how it tastes until leave after I do, I do it. Okay. I'm going to actually bring you a tasting of it. All right. <laughs> I know you will do good. You are a very good cook. So um, I, I season up my um, my um, color greens, like how I season color blue light. When I'm cooking kalalu, so we like when I'm cooking the greens, I season up my greens. I season it, season it up with my powder seasoning. Um, my powder seasoning. I do um, I do scallion. They call it green onion. We call it scallion up here. Most people they call it green onion. That's scallion they talk. Um, onion. I dice it. I put tomato, I cut tomato, I do thyme, and I season it. And um, in, in, the, in the pot, like the fine pot or whatever you're going to steam it down into, I just use a little bit like a teaspoon uh, if you just coat the bottom because I do not like when Kalalu um, have no grease and no. So I just barely make the, um, the bottom of the pot just barely coated. And then I pour it out in it and with two, two cup of water. And or, or you can put three cup of water, but I put two cup of water. The reason why is sometimes the, the greens itself spring a lot of water. So you have to be careful. So. I put like two cup of water in it and I cover it up. And um, you can use, um, they have the smoke shank. I, I, don't, I don't use that. So, but some people use that to give it flavor. Um, I use, you can use smoked turkey. Um, no, some, smoke um, bacon, turkey bacon. Or you can use um, the regular smoke, or you can use the bacon. I use smoke bacon. And um, you fry the bacon. You fry it. Or you can put it in the oven and make it bake real crispy. Real crispy. And you put it in it. You put it on. And you make it cook down. Cook right down, spring it on water and cook. And that cook for one hour and 45 minutes. Do not rush it. And you get it perfect. It come out perfect like color. Wow. And finish touch. See, so what powder, what powder season, um, season do, you, do you normally use? I use chicken seasoning. All purpose, we yeah, they use chicken season. I use all purpose garlic. You can use the fresh garlic or the garlic powder if you want. 
you um you can use fresh thyme or you can use the one in the but I use fresh thyme. And you season it up, season it up like you use season up your meat. And I use um you can use bell pepper, different I I put different color bell pepper in it because I I, I like to see the color and for it to look nice and you and cook it. And this is the finished dish. Auntie Lee, you just said we should throw out um, dieting out the door, but I think collard greens is pretty healthy. Yes, and this don't have no grease. So I, I know you would love this. Yes. This, this don't have no, no, no grease. So for those I of us who are, who, who, are, who, who, who are trying to still stay healthy throughout the holiday season, don't let the carbs tempt you. There are still options on there. There's collard greens and you can still have some turkey, which is the protein. Maybe you can have a little taste of the candied yam. Um, um, no luck. If you taste of one little piece, I bet you're gonna go back. <laughs> <laughs> so thank, thank you so, so very much. I think these are the three things that um, Leonie has for us tonight. And um, we, we wanna thank you so, so very much. Um, could you give us an idea the budgeting a bit of it? How, mu how much do you think you spend on each of them roughly if you were to do one or two servings? For what? Well, the turkey, we are not talking about servings there, but um, for, the, um, for, the, for the yam and the collard green, how much do you think you spent? I think I spent like $30 or less. See, that, that's the other thing that we're trying to talk about, that um, in this season, everybody's trying to save money as well. And um, don't, don't get overwhelmed with the stuff, the plenty of things you see on Leonie's um, 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 counter. You don't have to spend that much. You don't have to spend that much. You can still have a nice, tasty, delicious, yummy gourmet dinner within your budget. That's what I wanted to add. Because somebody's out there thinking, well, how am I going to spend all this money? And even the singles amongst us, they don't want to go. Because most things are on sale. So the, the, the Greatest thing, if you know that um, next month, like next week, you start from the month before, because you know that when it's holiday, everything gone up, I cup. Just buy the stuff then when they on sale. Sometimes you get stuff reasonably. Yam, like this, I get the I get this yam like for um, 40 something cents or 50 something cents. It's not a lot. And, and and you get the marshmallow and sale. It's, it's not a lot. This I get this, I think is 80, 80 something cents, not even a dollar. So you can budget yourself and still come out with something really nice. You don't have to spend I a lot. I, I know I know it's a tough season and we are not we are not encouraging people to socialize and go to families' houses and think if you are single or even together as a family and you are struggling and you don't know um, for some reason you're, you're struggling to put it to put food on your table do not hesitate as a family it's corona we will still do cor it in corona really style. Yeah, just let me know you can just pick up the bag drive up and i give it to just you. let us know send us a message <laughs> call Sister leone call call me call text the church phone we are family we're doing this together we want to have a nice thanksgiving so if you are in any need just text us we want to still have a social distancing Thanksgiving together, a lovely one. We don't want anybody to lack this Thanksgiving. You will have food on your table to eat and enjoy. Thank you, everyone. Um, without wasting um, much time, yes, I want to say thank you 
can we give a round of applause to and to Lee for the precious, precious tips that she offered us to us this evening. Thank you. So grateful. So, 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 so grateful. We've learned a lot. I don't know about anybody on this um, platform, but we, I have learned a lot. Um, do we, do you have any final words? Is there any, does anybody have any question? In the absence of any more questions, I'm going to turn it over to our next other chef. Listen, Royal House, we are blessed. I'm telling you, when we, when we put Leonie's catering and gifted hands together, there's nothing that we cannot do. They are the force behind our hospitality team. And I can't wait for Anita, who is the CEO of Gifted Hands, to also come and share, give us some nuggets and, and tips as to how to make our Thanksgiving, this Thanksgiving, a special and memorable one. Is Anita with us? Wow. All ready for us. Hello, everyone. Hi. <laughs> Well, good evening to everyone and welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> so I want to first thank my mama and Reverend Thomas for giving me this platform to share some recipes with you. So I'm going to go straight ahead and introduce my ingredients and then we'll start cooking. Um, in the event of the pandemic, I'm trying as much as possible on your table to limit contact. So today I present you food on a stake. So with that much ado, I would um, introduce uh, or point out the ingredient I'm going to use for my food on a stake. I have my vegetables here, green pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper, carrots, my spices, onions, plantains, chicken, eggs, garlic, ginger blend, um, cornstarch, and flour. And this will be my bed on which I'm going to, my lettuce bed, which I'm going to um, put my food on a stick on. So with that, say that again. All these terms, we—it's like Patreon one hundred and one tonight. My head is spinning. What, what? What did you say? That the food bed? Yeah. Lettuce bed. Yes. Which Which is the right term? I'm learning so that you know when I when well I'm, lettuce I'm, lettuce bed or food bed whatever bed. you yeah anything okay. yeah okay so. I'm going to go through it first because pretty much I have everything all sorted out. So you use um, chicken breast. I use chicken breast. This is chicken breast. It's already seasoned with the ginger garlic mixture, um, chicken spice, all pepper spice, cayenne pepper, black pepper, and salt. It's already spiced. So I'm going to um, mix um, milk and eggs, and then I'm going to dip it in the flour and the cornstarch. So let's go to the fryer, and then I'll demonstrate how I'm doing it. So this is the cornstarch and the flour and um, cayenne pepper, black pepper, it's all mixed in here. And then this is the egg wash, it's eggs and milk. So what you're going to do is you find a skewer, you pick it up. This is, as I said, this is already seasoned. I seasoned it earlier on. So that's what you're supposed to do. You season it and, and, and marinate it and put it in the fridge for some time so that the chicken will be well spiced. And if you don't want chicken, you could use fish fillet. If you don't want fish, you could use um, meatballs, whatever meat you prefer. So you pick your chicken, dip it in 
your egg wash. You can put as much as you can as they soak up. You dip it in, let it soak a little bit. You pick it up. You put it in your flour mixture. As you're doing this, your oil should be on fire. So you caught it, you caught you, you caught it very well. Hi. You caught it very well, and then you can put it, shake it, shake the SS off, put it in a bowl. Shake the SS off. Then you continue dipping. So you keep doing this. We'll just fry what I've done. So you're going to put in the hot boiling water, hot boiling how, oil, sorry. How do you know the, that oil is ready for cooking? Well, it uh, has to be on medium high. Okay. Yeah, medium high. I didn't turn my oil on enough, but it's, it's fine. So you, you'll be frying this until until it's golden brown. Frying this and it has to be like this. Wow. That's how it's supposed to be like. I'm just going to turn it off because I'm just doing the demonstration, but it has to cook until it's this golden brown. And you can I'm use any to... oil, right? Uh, preferably, yeah, vegetable oil, yeah. Vegetable oil, okay. Yeah. So I'm going to let it keep cooking on a different burner. By switching it, let it, I don't need this chicken because I have some already cooked already. Whilst I go on to my vegetables. With the vegetables, um, you, you use um, olive oil for your vegetables. Just a little bit, not too much. You don't want it to get all soaked up. And then you let it heat up a little bit. Just take a little bit of your ginger garlic paste. Let it saute in the oil a little bit. Okay, so you pour out your, your pepper, that's the red pepper, your yellow pepper, your green pepper. You don't want to overcook it very fast. You don't want to overcook any of these things any of these vegetables, you don't want to overcook it. See how colorful they look? And then you add um, 
for the carrot, it's um, al dente, meaning that it's not too hard and it's not too soft. So you boil um, water and then turn the heat off and put the carrot in so that it doesn't get too soft and not too hard as well. So this is already done. I just take a little bit. Keep stirring. You add your all pepper spices, black pepper, a little bit of cayenne pepper for a little bit of heat, and a little bit of the chicken spice as well. Just a little bit. Keep stirring. And then you add your onion. So with this, you add your, your fried um, butter chicken. Just toss it in. Add a little bit of pepper flakes. Keep stirring. And that's it. Very fast and easy. Okay. So what we're going to do now is to fry the plantains. I know everybody know how to fry plantains. I'm not going to go into detail. So I fried some already. That's how it has to be like. So when you um, pick yours, yes. Anita, please, could you could you show us how to do the quickly, just in summary? Not everybody knows how to do the um, the the fried plantain. Oh, okay, <laughs> all right. I've had people ask me questions about plantain. So, is, is this regular plantain or is yeah re regular re re regular fried uh, regular ripe plantain? Okay. It has to be right, and, and it's not, not like I, I, it's not like kele wule or anything like that. No, 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 no. Just plain regular plantain. I okay. had one. I had one. I think this is overripe, but this is a little bit overripe. It has to be a little bit yellow, not with the black stuff on it. So, with a fried plantain, you you, you need to deep fry it. Just like you did your, your chicken, so. So just like that. That's also golden brown, right? That, uh, yeah, that, that has to be golden brown. That's okay. why it, it, it turned out this way. Wow. Yeah, so you pick your skewer. You pick your skewer, toss it up. You put your plantains. So you keep skewing with your different colors. Add your chicken. Add your onions. just play with it you just keep playing with it make it very colorful you mix you keep skewing it up you can use i'm using the the long skewer but the different versions of the skewing sticks so you can do a shorter version or the longer version i'm just doing the longer version 
gifted hands call this um, food on food on a, on a stick. stick. But for royal ladies, we will call it a special Thanksgiving kebab. <laughs> 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 so you keep doing that and you are done so wow. this is how it looks like you put it on your bed so you keep doing that and then you can you could have that with You can have that with your ketchup or your hot sauce or any dipping sauce that you want. This looks delicious. Oh my goodness. I'm hungry any, already. Any any dipping sauce. So that's that's about my food on a steak. Whereby when you do this and you have guests, they don't need to scoop or anything like that in the in the in the, in the name of infection or anything like that. You could just pick take something then you dip it and then you, you go in looks yummy so, what's that sauce in the green is that um what's the dipping sauce is that a dipping sauce yeah it's a, it, yeah it's a hot green sauce pepper sauce that's maybe another demonstration for a different day <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah so it looks it looks healthy um sister anita actually because I was thinking Thank about you. if we can grill the chicken instead of um, frying it, but because it's one meal, it looks yeah. like it's very healthy and good for you. Yeah. So, any questions before I move on to my dessert? This can be used as an appetizer or a side dish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, no, anybody has any questions? Diet, it can be our main meal, too. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it can be our main meal, Mama. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I was on. Should I go on to my next? Are we all good? Can we add sausage? You can add. Yes, meat. you can. You could. You could be versatile. Yeah, sausage, uh, fish fillet. All you need is get your butter, your um, egg, egg wash, Somebody and your. Go, go, go. You can add goat meat. You can. You can. You can, <laughs> you can add anything. And for, for the, the plantains. For, you can use baked potatoes. Exactly. I was going to say yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So that's about it. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. All right. So on my, for my dessert, a very simple, um, America call it crepes. Ghanaians, we call it pancakes. So I'm going to introduce my ingredients for the crepes. You need a cup of milk, salt, an egg, sugar, vanilla, nutmeg, a cup of flour, half cup of water. And what you do is you combine all your wet ingredients all your wet ingredients, meaning your milk, your eggs, your water, your vanilla, they all go into the blender at once. So you put it in the blender, all your wet ingredients, and then you add three scoops of one teaspoon sugar, three tablespoon one, um, three tablespoons sugar, <laughs> and, um, And you could just a pinch of salt or half a tablespoon of salt. I was looking for, yeah, my half tablespoon of salt, the smaller one. Yeah, you use this one fourth of salt. So you combine all your wet ingredients and you add your flour as the last thing to add. And then you blend it. You blend all these things together. And when you blend it, you're going to get. This is the consistency you're looking for. 
this how your, your um, crepes is supposed to look like. I'm going to demonstrate how to fry them and then we can get going. So for um, the frying of the crepes, you could use butter as your oil. You could use um, olive oil as well, but just a little bit. I'm using olive oil today, just a little bit, not too much. Just a little bit. Smear it in your pan. You just scoop you just scoop one of the ladder you're using not too big of a ladder just enough very thin it has to be very thin and the oil is one one tablespoon no less than half of a tablespoon okay less than half of a tablespoon so crepes or pancakes i know american has a different pancake name but this is pancake for us back home in ghana you let it cook until you see it's browning all around it. And this is this should be on medium heat, not too high, not too low. If not, it's going to burn quickly. You're making me hungry. Good. That's the whole point. <laughs> In fact, you guys, you are missing out. My cameraman is enjoying all the food. I'm driving to your house right now, Anita. <laughs> My cameraman is having a field day today. So you keep turning until it's golden brown. Wow. Those of us single women, learn. These are little, little tips that we can use to help get the so, men, whether we like it or not. A hungry man. This is how it looks like. A hungry man. And the way to a man's heart is through his belly. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it looks like. Wow. And you could. You could garnish it with your strawberries and your syrup, whichever fruit you want. You could be versatile. Just garnish it very neatly. Make it colorful. Could you please demonstrate how you do your folds? Oh, okay. 
Okay. Let's go, the little things we take for granted. Some of us, we don't know how to do it. So we are learning. <laughs> okay. Let me just open one. So we just fold it on top like this. And then you cross it out again. Oh. That's it. Nice and simple. Yep. Yep. And then the final touch is you sprinkle some, hmm. some confectionery on it. Confectionery sugar on it and drizzle it with your syrup if you want some syrup on your Voila. So just like, as I asked Leonu, those of us trying to not add pounds to our already massive weight. Yeah, I, I, in fact, I second with my uh, sister Leone. Thanksgiving, you don't have to think about your weight. So that is not no, going to help. There, there are no substitutes. <laughs> no, unfortunately. And my last part of it is going to be our uh, Papa's very own special ice cream. You can oh. add that to it. Agenda's <laughs> ice cream, vanilla. It goes well with it too. So that's it. I'm done. <laughs> what an Any awesome, questions? awesome, awesome, simple recipe. Thank you so much, Anita. Um, is there, do we have any more questions? Before I go on to the questions, um, I think I, I missed this. When you did your, is it um, egg, the, your egg and, egg and milk mix for your, for frying the, the chicken, uh -huh. Uh -huh. what's the proportion? I mean, is it two eggs to how much? Yeah, how much okay, milk? so use two eggs. No, uh, use at least three eggs for like say a pound of chicken. Use three eggs or no, use two. Let's be, let, use two. And for the milk, just um, one tablespoon of um, whipped cream milk. The, oh, whipped cream milk. Okay. Yes. Okay. It, uh, it's a little bit denser than the evaporated milk. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any more questions? Ladies, are we there on mute? We are Any here. more questions? You're too silent. Are you hungry? Did, did I make you hungry <laughs> with my great chefs? No questions for me. <laughs> are we all good? They said they are hungry, so. Um, we want to know where we should come to pick up our plate, especially <laughs> for the Thanksgiving um, so the box. Just, just so you know, Gifted Hands is always available, always, always available to take orders. So she cooks, this, this, is, this is nothing close to what, what she cooks. She cooks so many dishes. And if you want to place an order, 860-931-9315 or call me, call the church, we'll, we'll share her information with you. It will be on the side of the, uh, um, of, the, of the comment section too. If you want to take note, we will be displaying some of, some of um, the dishes that they cook. Um, Leone Catering Services is also always available. If you are tired, listen, sometimes I'm just tired and I'm like, I don't want to cook. I reach out to any of these two and they are able to cook and deliver at your convenience. And so you don't have to stress it. I know some of us want to have the fun and do it on our own like myself. I'm going to challenge myself and do some of these things, but I'm going to make place my order as well. So if you want to place an order and you are not in the mood to cook, don't stress yourself. Just take the phone number. The, the, yes, your phone. 
and dial the number for Anita. Wait. For Anita, you the number is eight six zero. I take it again nine three one nine three one five. And for our sister Leone, it's eight six zero nine two two zero zero eight zero. That's Leone Catering Services. 860-922-0080. Don't forget to reach out to them for more tips. Don't forget to reach out to them for your orders as well. Christmas season is coming. They are here to help us take the load off our shoulders. Just give them a dial, I mean, a, a ring, and they will, they will sort you out. Hello. I Where are you I guys? Are you still here? Where are you located for uh, this service? So what area? In in Manchester and Hartford. For 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 Leone Catering Services is in Hartford. You just have to give them a number and they can arrange with you for. Gifted Hands, which is our sister Anita, who just ended the session. Um, she lives in Manchester, Connecticut. So, do you deliver out of state? Gotcha. Do you deliver out of state, Leonie and Anita? Could you answer that? So, for me, for now, I'm not yet. Uh, I haven't started delivering out of state, but I'm going to do that pretty much soon. I'm just putting one or two things together and then how to package and get your food intact. So I'm working towards that. So very soon, I'm going to go into delivering out of state. But for now, it's just interim. Okay, thank you. Is our sister Leonie still on? Don't worry, maybe she's trying to um, clean up the kitchen and she we lost her for now, but like I said, 860-922-0080. Or reach out to our number, the number that sent these uh, the event information to you, and we will direct you to the right place. Um, so as far as Royal Ladies, we are still going to have more programs. Just stay tuned. Um, don't, don't feel like Corona is here and we are lonely and you don't feel connected and we're going to be having more and more programs. And so we would encourage you to stay tuned. We'll be um, having our Christmas exchange. We'll be sending out announcements and, and, and information out soon. And we'll have our Thanksgiving um, program. It will pro more than likely be on Zoom because of Corona. It's going to be our December to Remember program. Stay tuned for all these programs. It's going to get busy. We're going to also wrap up um, that the year with our Christmas exchange. So please be on the lookout. Thank you so much. Once again, I want to thank um, Leone Catering Service, um, Gifted Hands for taking the time out to be with us. Um, we have learned so, 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 so much, and we cannot thank you enough. I know that I'm going to um, beautify my dinner table with some of the recipes that I've learned tonight. The candy yam. <laughs> Say that again. We got, we got our sister back. So, Sister Leone, do you deliver out of state? Somebody was trying to ask that question. So Leone, you're muted. I'm muted. It's better now. It's better now. We also want to we also want to thank all our participants. Thank you for your time. Thank you for making it a fun time. Thank you for joining in and, and, and supporting the program. Be as I said, be up, be on the lookout for further programs. Thank you so much. And have a great, 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 great Thanksgiving. Have a blessed night. May the Lord continue to watch and keep your families. I love you all. 
and take care. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. Call me. I'm a couple And you. I want your food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming to get my food. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>